One, two, three, four. A limited. Meet Sharif. The riddle wrapped inside a mystery, inside an enigma. Sharif often ponders the great mysteries of life. You say you do this and you got the lunchbox, but no thermos. What's really in your lunchbox? Sharif shares his wisdom of the universe. Get to step and play and put on your track shoes and kick rocks. Sharif, lover, philosopher, thinking man. Corn like the chips, you know what I mean? Without the dip. It all starts now. A limited. One, two, three, four. A limited. <laughs> I'm Tanika and I'm a daycare provider. I'm good with kids because I'm very nurturing. I love kids' personalities. Um, they're very energetic. I have to be energetic as well to keep up with them. And I think I'll make a good mom one day. I love to sing. I'm in the process of actually recording a demo. Um, I hope to be a um, professional singer one day, have a major record deal. The kind of guy I'm looking for would have to be physically fit, well-groomed, neat dresser, and he would just have to be an all-around good person. A limited. <laughs> Round one, I'm having the guys meet me at Drew Farms. It's an apple picking farm just outside of Boston. I thought it would be fun. You know, I haven't done it since I was little, so I thought it would be fun to see how the guys acted around me apple picking. <laughs> I was raised to be a god. My mother told me that and told me that other people are too. They just don't realize it yet. My name is Quininius, and the women love my body. I'm Tanika. Quininius, pleasure to meet you. What's your name? Quininius. Everybody Quin call me Q. Q, okay. I'll call you Q. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here's a bag for you. We're gonna do a little bit of apple picking. Okay. When I first saw Q, I said, oh yeah, I like a tall guy. Um, he looked to be attractive from far off, so I was I was really happy when I saw Q. You got booty men. You got men that love the tatas. You got leg men. I love all of that, but I would have to say I'm definitely a face man. My name is Lindell, and deep down, I'm a sensitive brother. Hi, how are you, Tanika? Lindell, nice to meet Hi. you. <laughs> All these good looking men, oh my goodness. Tanika, she's a beautiful girl. Um, digging those dimples. Uh, love the red hair, pretty skin. I like to have the perfect girl uh, because I believe that I'm a good catch, so she has to be a good catch. I'm the best, so I think I deserve the best. My name's Amori, and I'm completely wild in the bedroom. Hello. What's up? <laughs> Tanika. Amori. What's your name? Amori. Amori? Yeah. Okay. Basically, I like a woman who knows how to be a woman as well as a lady. You know what I'm saying? A riddle wrapped inside a mystery, inside an enigma. I'm Sharif, the urban philosopher, ladies' man. Hello. How you doing? Good, how are you? Sharif, nice to Sharif, meet you. Tanika. Okay. Here All you right. Go. Thank you. Thank and this you. is for you. I'll be rude. You know, I believe women are like flowers. You oh. got your, your roses, your daisies, and then you got your weeds, you know? <laughs> Going to work with that. I saw uh, Tanika and I said, man, she's the killer for real for Shilla, you know? I said, I might have to get a piece of, uh, you know, pie when uh, she finished baking that. All right, we're going to walk right over here, guys. <laughs> so what does everybody do? What do you do? Actually, right now, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm focusing on two businesses right now. Oh, really? One is called a Lunchbox. Okay. It's a food place. Okay. I'm focusing on sandwiches right now. Okay. Soul food and Caribbean food. But I have another business also called, there's a greeting card company called True Image Design. Okay. You say you do this and you got the company and the lunchbox, but no thermos. What's really in your lunchbox? See what I'm saying? Okay, now what do you do, huh? Boston Fire Department. You're a fireman? Oh, you wear a uniform? Oh. That's a weakness of mine. Oh, yeah. I like men in uniforms. <laughs> What do you do, Amari? Amore. Amore. Yeah. What do you do? I'm a, I'm a full-time student. I'm also a shoe salesman. Okay. And what about you, honey? What do you do? Uh, I actually host for this video show. Okay. Yeah, video host for the show. Here in Boston? Yeah, it's a local show, so I'm okay. just getting it up to uh, to sell it to some bigger stations. But, okay. Yeah. We walked up into the apple orchard. I got to know the guys as we were walking. Okay, well, I'm picking apples to make apple pie, guys. So, so you cook? Yeah. I can cook. I find that's very important. Does you it know really? What I mean? because, well, you know uh, what? A lot of I women. Cook as well. Do you cook? Yeah, that and I mean, I'm not going to ask for a woman to do something that I'm not going to do. You see what I'm saying? Okay. If I come home late or she comes home early, we're both going to do the damn thing and hook it up. You see what I'm saying? How about you? I definitely cook. I definitely cook. I got a couple of pasta dishes. That doesn't dishes. sound too convincing. No, no, no. I got a, I got a couple of pasta dishes. I, I, okay, I do. So like pasta? Don't your nipple, play. It's that medium last shirt you got on. Play. Hold on here. I didn't notice that Lindell was stroking his nipples, but I did notice that he was licking his lips. So I don't know if that's something sexual or if that's just something he does. 
What do you guys do for free time? I do a lot of things, actually. Um, I love dance, especially the live music, salsa. Oh, you do? Yeah. Now, what do you like to do in your spare time? I'm a musician. Okay. You know, I do studio work. I've done studio work with, like, D'Angelo and stuff like that. Okay. I'm a guitar player. Okay, that's interesting, because I'm a singer, so... You are? We might have to, we might have to vibe. Man, you was a janitor. You seen him in the studio, he might have waved to you one night or asked you to get a cup of water. You wasn't working on no set. I played a good tar. Man, you don't play nothing. What do you do in your spare time? I enjoy Mr. music Fireman. too. I enjoy music too. <laughs> you enjoy music? I enjoy music too. Okay. I, got, I got some vocals. I, I can okay. harmonize so with you. So you sing? I can harmonize I wanna hear with some. you, Ma. Okay. I want to hear. Are you singing me a little bit? I want to hear you sing. A little bit right now? Or? Uh, uh, just, just off spare the moment? Yeah. Uh, okay. Whatever you want to sing. For you, I give a lifetime of civility. And the on and on and on and on and on. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad you cut that <laughs> off right there, player. At least you did it, though. It's it's it sounds good with music. Yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of music. It's it's right. Right. At least you it's right. right. It's right. a good. It's good. Lindell, this singing is, uh, he needs some help. He needs a lot of help. I don't think he's just singing for a long time. You ain't in no video. You ain't Usher. You know what I mean, man? You, you're sliding up and down poles. What I want to know is, like, like, what was your last relationship and why are you here on Eliminate? Um, I was with the demon. Um, he was with the demon? The demon. The yeah, demon. the demon. Uh, just something from wow. the bowels of hell. And, uh, <laughs> you know, the head spreading and spitting all over the place with the, you know, Exorcist couldn't get a priest thing. in there. It wasn't, you know, things were cool until we started moving together and then I got to see the, you know, yes, you know, and I, oh, okay then. That you wasn't know? a pretty sight. Maybe we need to cut this lease and just, you know, cut our losses, do the damn thing, you know? So, uh, do the damn thing on your own. She's somewhere, she's somewhere, I'm sure, you know, with uh, Beezlebub and the rest of the crew okay. living it up. Sharif, um, uh, he's very comedic. <laughs> Let's see who picks me a nice bag of apples. Will y'all do that for me? We'll do that. Can Start off by the truck. <laughs> do we do that? <laughs> nice, big, fat, juicy one. <laughs> Here you go. This one is this one is nice. This is this is a nice one, one for you. This That's is, a nice big this one. This is for you. Oh, thank you. That's for you right there. Because nobody else is thoughtful as I am. Oh, that's you know sweet. what I'm saying? You're getting eliminated for that. <laughs> that showed you my love. <laughs> that told me right then and there that maybe he didn't want to be here. Apple picking is not a good idea for the first date. Coming up, Tanika makes her first cut. And later... If it wasn't me licking his nipples, it probably would have been one of the other guys. Maybe even himself. Eliminate. <laughs> Who do you think Tanika will eliminate first? Amori, Lindell, Q, or Sharif? Okay, guys, before I came on this date, I knew that there was gonna be a bad apple in um, every bunch, and I wasn't expecting one of you guys to incriminate yourself. But unfortunately, Amari, I'm afraid it's gonna be you. Put on the track <laughs> shoes, play it! Cause you're out of here! You're all <laughs> Get that I took it as he didn't want to be around anymore, so he's gone now. Bye-bye. We weren't getting the same vibe, so things happen, you know? You're not going to put two people together who are not compatible. Sorry to see you go, genuine fine, but you had to do something with it. So get to step and play. Put on your track shoes and kick rocks. He go. Blue 42! I was happy the way I played the game. If I had the opportunity to do it again, I'd probably do it the same way. I'm looking forward to round two. We're going to Mantra, which is a lounge club type atmosphere. Inside, they have a little neat clothes-in teepee um, where things could get hot and heavy, and it definitely did. Okay, so... Uh, I want to ask you a couple questions. I mean, you're throwing the questions What, what do you want to know? I want to know, like, what, what do you find, you know, desirable about a man and, you know, things of that. So what do you look forward to in the bedroom? We're not giving out the special little sauce, it's, you know what in, I mean? In the bedroom? Yeah. Um, I'm looking for someone that's not selfish, you know. I'm, I'm at the point in my life where I'm not, you know, I'm not looking to, for it to be rushed. You know, I want it to be soft and sensual. I like a sensual man. 
I like a man that um, that will take his time. Sound to me like she a little greedy. You see what I'm saying? It ain't all about you, boo. It may be your night, but it ain't all about you, okay? Now, if I was to run into each one of you all's ex-girlfriends, right, what would they tell me you did best in the bedroom? I'm a great tease. You're a great tease? Great tease. What do you mean by you're a great never, tease? I mean... There's still point. Are you you'll, never, you'll never get what you want right away. I give it to them. My thing is, okay. it feels much better for me and for her. Okay. As far as So you kind of get to the level where she just... She's really, just yeah, she's tired. She and, wants it. Okay. And if she wants it, she don't want to let me go. And then play around, you know, slap you around a little bit with it. You know, you know how we do it. <laughs> what does that do it again? <laughs> slapping around. Slap. Man, he ain't slapping nothing. Like he couldn't help himself. You know what I mean? I'm like, player, come on. Hold in your pants. The fire ain't here, player. The fire ain't here. How are you all as far as your stamina? Are you guys up to I'm shape? A, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this. I let the action do the talking for me. You see what I'm saying? And I and I basically what I'm saying is when it comes to, to that part. That's when all jokes are put aside. So you see rather you rather the show improve than talk out. about it? Exactly. And you be about it? I may talk here, but when it when it comes to the bedroom, that's when the game stops. That's when the game stops. See what I'm saying? So we ain't gonna be in the middle of something and you're gonna have me laughing or nothing like that. No, no, no. There's gonna be nothing to joke about. See what I'm saying? It's not the death jam. <laughs> it's the jam. <laughs> Everything Shreve says is pretty much he's a clown. What about you, honey? How is your stamina as far as the bedroom is concerned? <laughs> I hate to boast. I mean, I really... Well, boast. I, I hate to boast. I'm asking you an honest question. Be honest. Well... <laughs> is, she, is, she, is she perspiring? Am I here? Am I here? Yo, it's glitter, baby. It's glitter. You know, glitter. take your time, play. I, I actually wanted to put my mouth there, but then it uh. might have been a little bit more wet. So I said, well, let me use the napkin. Now you look like you're perspiring. It's a, it's a drop, a bead of sweat falling off your brow. Let me get that. Oh, rough, no. I want you to take that apple right there. Mm -hmm. I want you to get it real, real wet. Get that apple real wet. Yeah, I want you to make little circles right here. On your nipple? And then draw a line right down <laughs> here. Nipple. Really? And I mean, it just depends on how bold you are. You know? You, you can, you can and take... And then you want me to lick it off? Yes, ma'am. You little... <laughs> you little raisin-looking nipple. Nobody want to lick that. And get that out of here. Look at him, he getting all excited. Look at him, look at him. Already, man. Yes, ma'am. Ain't no stamina. Oh. Look at him, tripping. Can't control himself, see? Act like a little girl. Look at him. My man Lindell got a fetish for licking his own nipples. Because when there's no fires going on, that's what he's doing at the station. Licking his nipple. Licking his nipple and rubbing them. Hey, player. Keep it in your pants, man. Then when he was licking on the nipple, he all, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, man, relax. Take it easy. Study your mantra, okay? Study your mantra. You, don't get wrong. You get on some passion, you know, you have some nice conversations, but everything's like, your favorite, you know. <laughs> you know, uh, I like to do this and that, and like, you know, so like that. I like it all. Anything that is Jewish sexuality, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Who will Tanika cut next? I think Lindell's getting cut this round. In this round, I think Q's getting cut. You're out of here, Lindell. You got nothing. Except them hard nipples and a pole to go up and down. A limited. Day. <laughs> Who is Tanika going to eliminate next? Lindell, Q, or Cherie? Well. I enjoyed listening to your sex capades, and I have to tell you, they turned me on a lot. But unfortunately, Lindell, I have to cut you, man. You gotta go home. But you're you a good person, and yeah, it was it was fun. I enjoyed your company too. Get the brown brick road, player. Sorry, sorry. Take it easy, man. Put out some fire somewhere else, player. Hush puppy. I won't say I'm pissed off or angry. Um, I don't know her rhyme or reason, but um, I still had a, a good time. He's way too obsessed with his nipples. Lindell's gonna go home, lay in his bed and stroke his nipples, and lick his own belly button. Tanika's missing out on somebody that's laid back, honest, extremely fun. A gentleman, you can take me home to mama, um, but I'm definitely, I'm definitely a freaking boy.
came to La Boom um, because it's a, it's a really good and popular um, place to be. This round was really more so to find out how they would treat me. What would be the ultimate sacrifice that you were willing to make to have true love and happiness if it came down to that? If you were like at your wit's end, what, what would be the ultimate sacrifice that you would make? Let's start with you, honey. It's kind of hard, though. It's kind of hard. I'm to think about that one for a second. You want me to go to hell? Yeah. All these thinking men, you know, all these thinking men. We really ain't got nothing working, you know? See, I think his problem is we all read some Danielle Steele before, some Judy Bloom, and I think he's going to come here with that straight game tonight about, you know, reading up on his chapters. No, personally, I've, I've gone that route. Because when I was with um, a previous girlfriend, you know, if I'm in love with my girl, there's nothing I won't do. Like, I work, you know, all through winter vacation, two jobs, just to get enough money for her to be able to come back to college. See what I'm saying? So... You did that for her? I did that for her, because there's nothing I wouldn't do for my lady. The kind of made me think, was he sincere about it? Because I don't know too many people would do something like that. So I kind of question the, the truth behind that. I'm ready to give up everything but who I am. Okay. For somebody. So you're not willing to change yourself? I'm willing to change myself, but at the same time, I'm talking about spiritually. Okay. I was raised in Pentecost Church. You tell me I can't be with you because you of that. You lose your soul. Exactly. I can't do that. Okay. So that's one thing I wouldn't say about anybody, anything else. I would sacrifice, accept my soul. Just do you, player. I mean, his, his game was pretty, pretty lame. Corn like the chips, you know what I mean? Without the dip. One of the guys was talking about how he had good dance technique. So I really wanted to see what he could do on the dance floor. The dance floor scene was wild and popping. The guys really they showed me what they were working with. Like Sharif was kind of suffocating me on a dance floor. You know, if I turned around, Sharif is right there. I turned back around, you know, he's on my ass, he's in my face. I, he was every on the dance floor. I definitely hit her with the heat, turned it up a bit, you know what I mean? Got that little kiss in before my man could make moves. Sharif did get a, a good kiss. That kiss lasted a little bit too long. And I had to break that up because it kind of bothered me. I was getting a little itch and everything. Yeah, Q felt that he was going to try to slide himself in there like some, you know, Oreo cream filling. But I basically wasn't going to let it happen. It's a really hard decision. But I had a wonderful time with both of them. They really stepped up their game this round. Will it be Sharif or Q? The final cut is next. Tell him a day. I just want you both to know that you really are tremendous guys. I enjoy being with both of you. Honestly, Definitely. really, Definitely. really. But um, it came down to one of you guys was really doing your homework. You were really attentive and uh, you know you really paid attention to me and what I was saying and um, what I was looking for. And Sharif, you're that guy. So cute. I have to let you go. But you're a wonderful guy. And I had a good time with you. So. Yeah, watch the player. You didn't win, okay? Watch the player. You didn't win. Okay. All right. Take it easy, okay? Sorry to see you. Sorry to see you. I guess I didn't come off as strong as I should have, but that's what I need to work on. But um, she made a choice. Player, go home, bang out some of the push ups, watch CNN, and do the damn thing, okay, man? Because right now we're keeping it here. The girl's gorgeous, man, but you know, there's a lot of the beautiful women out there, too, so it's okay. You know, but I'm definitely gonna, you know, I'm definitely gonna get a shot. So I got my shot with the queen right here, so we're definitely gonna do that. Oh, I'm a queen? Okay, yes, oh, definitely. Queen? Give me a spin, give me a spin. Work that, work that. Okay, all right, holla. She's hitting them hard, she's hitting them hard. Definitely hitting them hard.